everyone, this is the Beer Watcher. It is November 13, 2018. And I want to start by thanking all of you who have donated or prayed or supported me in any way. I really appreciate it. I would like to make my full-time job. But it, you never know what God's will is for me, so I am looking for a job too. Just kind of see how things go. I do have boards to pay and bills to pay, and this is a lot of work. I've been working on this, what well, I'm about to present to you, for days. So let's get right into it. And I want to start with the lens array and how they got there and connect some. As I fell into this rabbit trail, I'm going to take you along with me and help you connect the dots of where this is all going. The lens array, Tesla Phoresis, Morgellons, 5G network, black goo, programmable matter, chemtrails. If you don't know what that is, pay attention because it's going to take you on a rabbit trail that I wasn't even sure where this is going. But it's bizarre and it even going to touch on scalar technology. So let's talk about the lens array for a minute for some of you who don't know. It is a theory that I postulated two years ago that there is a lens system very large and just to hide planetary objects. Just re insane stuff that we're getting from around the world. Uh, please just go watch the troll one I made. It was pretty, pretty impressive. All the stuff that I put in. This stuff that we see from the sky. These weird lens distortions. How did they get there? These things are pretty big. And how it's even distorting the sun when we see it set. Absolutely not normal. A result of the lens array even sometimes appearing to be a second sun. And the sun simulator, of course, is part of this, but I'm not going to touch too much on the sun simulator. But here we see a partial lens here in this bizarre lighting system here. Basically... <laughs> I even have camera, the video footage of this one. We could see the, the lens here. You can see my cursor. We can see what appears to be four lenses. Absolutely enormous. On webcam to Mexico, we saw this bizarre footage. And sometimes we even get toroidal fields coming off this thing. The evidence just keeps piling in more and more. Here is some footage of the lens system closing out the sun over a series of footages. Uh, the time-lapse footage over Australia, which this network of cameras has been down for weeks now. Still down. This was discovery was made. We can see the lenses here. How did they get there? I do believe that Tesla Phoresis may have played a huge role in assembling these in very low Earth orbits, or maybe even using levitation technology. Let's show you a few more snapshots of this proof. Again, you can just go back and watch my archives, old videos. This stuff's just bizarre. Here's, here's a video snapshot of it. Look at this. You can see the lens closing here. Let me hit the mute button here. In this footage, we're going to watch the lens array just eclipse out the sun. It eclipses pretty quick, but you're going to have to have an eye right here. Let me pause that. Up oh, too late. Anyways, I'm going to move forward. Many of you have seen it, and you can get better footage. Just go back and watch my other videos. Uh, the reason for the sun halos. Lenses, how do they get there? How do they build this stuff? The thing's pretty big, right? Well, the lens array in front of the sun simulator helps the, 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 the fake sun in front of the real sun look bigger than it really is. And here we can see more footage of this thing lighting up here. Tesla Phoresis. Okay, let's not spend any more time with that. Let's watch the Tesla Phoresis at work. These are nanotubes and LEDs assembling themselves in an electric field known as a Tesla field. Wow. And notice they're self-powered. Well, the power, the electric energy is coming from the ionization of the, the, elect, the electric field of Tesla, of the Tesla coil. Very simple Tesla coil. 
let's uh, let me wind that back. The electrons are being accelerated or the being charged to a higher voltage, so they just literally leap off this silver donut thing, the huge electric field, and it puts off a huge toroidal field, and they're basically dumping nanotubes and watching them assemble. So let's watch it and they're doing it liquids they're doing different experiments and they basically can stretch out for miles and miles and here we can see the electric fields being used the presence of the electric field that's powering the fluorescent bulbs anybody who's been to a Tesla uh, lab down in LA museum the Tesla coil there here we could watch it the Tesla freezes literally lighting up the LEDs and nanotubes and assembling it in the footage without liquid absolutely amazing and I got some more footage of it assembling it these are based letting them assemble in a basic field but what would you think would happen if they could create a more complex magnetic field environment I don't know maybe the same they do with uh, crop circles yeah crop circles. Now this is theoretical but the scientists agreed are now made by using lasers or microwaves hmm, microwaves because I'm going to talk about the 5G network that's the same frequency GPS technology create ever larger and more elaborate patterns claim scientists as the days of using planks and rope are gone no way they did this with lasers and planks this was doing a levitation device basically a complex pattern a template in front of the mag the magnetic field tesla fields could create this same effect in this example we could see them applying this electric field at different points see how he can set it and making interconnect one another like we see here assembling themselves and these are carbon nanotubes. There's more than just carbon. There are other forms of nanotubes that are more productive. These are the ones that we know about, okay? More powerful, stronger electric ones. Conducting electric current. Remember I said that. Next, I would like to make the connection with that and Morgellons, because this is pretty mind-blowing. So here are Morgellons that fell upon a tomato leaf. Now, it takes... 400 to 450 times magnification to see this this thing I believe is filling the electric fields of this person's finger very tiny electric fields now here they are falling from the sky and being seen in the ultraviolet light spectrum trillions of them yeah, and everybody's breathing this stuff in. Doesn't affect everybody though. Like maybe five percent of the people whose bodies are not able to regularly get rid of these out of their systems, they will accumulate and they get what they call Morgellons disease. This is where it gets crazy. Now, this guy that you see here was assassinated not too long ago. I forget this guy's name. And he's been touching on this topic. He's no longer around. God rest his soul. Thank you for the work you've done, brother. But that is insane. At the point, the connection I want to make with the 5G network in all this is the crystals inside the Morgellons. And what does that have to do with the 5G network? Well, it plays a huge role. Here is somebody... And I'll explain why crystals are so important to the 5G network, Morgellons disease, and the black goo. Here they have red and blue look nanotubes found inside their skin and throughout some of people's bodies. And some people are dying of this. And they always insist on incinerating, um, cremating people, lest they'd see any crazy evidence. Now... When these little hair-like fibers get breathed in, and for those people who don't have the immunity and it builds up, they're self-replicating, will build and make crystals. This crystal is pretty critical because, and here is a 400 times micro 
um, magnification of this fiber, which I believe is response to the electric field. Now at this point, let me just pause for a second. Now a strong magnet on our main artery of your body, like your leg or maybe your neck, or wherever you think you're being affected by these things, will disable these crystals, electronics so will not self-replicate, and your body will eventually flush it out. And there's a there are cures for this. Do not. Um, anyways, let me not digress from this topic because this is really big, right? Here they see these uh, pulling them from the skin. Now, you could watch it all over the internet of people that are finding crystals coming out of their eyes, and their ears, their nose. Scott even found one in his nose, and he plucked this thing out. Hard crystal. So here is a crystal glowing, and the nature of crystals, I'm going to touch on that topic and why this connection is so critical with the 5G network and what is about to happen. Here we can watch the, the crystal glow. Hexagonal crystals. Nowhere in a crystal has the, the nature like a circuit like we're going to see right here. That was taken from a human being. Hexagonal glowing circuit. See how they change colors? No, it's not just a light effect. This is what they're finding inside of people. Hexagonal crystals okay in a formation like this why is that so important let me show you some uh, military training videos just the highlights of crystals and the piezoelectric effect of crystals now when you start to get the put the signs together that electric circuits are basically be formed in our bodies if we don't keep our immune systems tuned up a piezoelectric effect. What is a piezoelectric effect? This, uh, just a quick diagram, I'll show you the highlights. That they do three basic cuts out of a crystal to get different effects. So X cut was cut out of a hexagonal crystal in, in this dimension. From, I don't want to get all technical, okay? But there's different cuts that you can get. From the center of the crystal, it's called the AT cut. You get different uh, features from so depending on how the crystal was cut depending on the nature of the crystal the thickness of the crystal determines the frequency that it will resonate at or create so an X cut crystal for example has a negative co temperature coefficient what is that well re as the temperature goes up the frequency goes down in a Y cut crystal when the temperature goes up the frequency goes up and then an AT cut crystal it's not affected the frequency stays the same so it's kinda all I wanted from this quick little video clip here and how it works inside of a circuit but I've got a better example than this one so here we have a crystal inside of a circuit board anybody who's played with electronics we knows this is a circuit it has a certain resonant value and when it puts it with a computer chip it can maintain a clock speed of the entire circuit okay so this is the, basically the tuner and it goes inside this the inverse piezoelectric effect is the opposite of a piezoelectric effect the inverse piezoelectric effect when voltage is applied to the electric plates of a crystal it changes the physical structure of the crystal and it can make it resonate, literally make a sound or transmit a sound as opposed to creating electric voltage. So real simple that electricity applied to a crystal would cause it to change shape or resonate while changing the shape of the crystal cause it to make electricity. So that's kind of in a nutshell. And that's pretty much how we get the transmit receive properties of electricity. Plus, it can also create voltage. It could actually be a transducer, a way of tr moving voltage from one source to another, such as a crystal radio. The crystal vibrates from the radio frequencies of the air and will actually create free sound.
nobody's made a circuit with no batteries just a crystal that vibrates with the electromagnetic fields like a 5g network you can hear a free radio you can go get these kits online that the crystal is being moved by the piezoelectric effect and the inverse piezoelectric effect so I hope your brain ain't hurting too much but I'm gonna move forward so uh, I'm here on YouTube and you could sit here and watch thousands of people discovering through their own bodies some of them are freaking out that's why this needs to get out because if you've got this there is a cure one of them is strong magnetic field therapy it will stop the process and uh, there's solutions out there that I'm looking for to further detox yourself uh, Morgellons hair on my face Morgellons smart dust now I'm gonna touch on black goo next because show you where this go where this is all going uh, and it uh, yeah you just want to have a heads up on this so <laughs> let's let's just move on here is another lady the Morgellons cover-up showing people with Morgellons disease um, the sad part about this is the sick doctors or they're ignorant that or refuse to look they just maybe they're just who knows I don't know their motive but they're being diagnosed with delusional parasitosis <laughs> that's so messed up and then they you're you know instead of like oh yeah skin crawling disease how many skin crawling disease commercials maybe somebody will watch TV we go look them up skin crawling disease it's creepy scary crazy stuff and it's just bizarre it's for real and they're being diagnosed with these medical treatments and being given uh, delusional medicines like lithium and all that stuff and then you just be, become their little lab rat you don't want to go there um, and where do we get this stuff in Hollywood right I mean you know how many black goo commercials there are I'm gonna skip all the way forward I actually watched this one with my kids this was hero 6 programmable matter I'm gonna show a quick scene here all these tiny little intelligent little magnetic things are all working there are so many videos and movies that this was portrayed in this footage um, we have the blob we had spider-man district 9 you know it happened so much it was in the matrix endless horror movies and then the guy like this alien invasion all takes over um, I mean we could really spend the entire rest of the dip Prometheus <laughs> it was all over the place black goo this he swallows the stuff and these little bugs come out and he jump on him. another freak another horror movie it's hard for me to watch horror movies right oh yeah and um, Lucy she takes over Transformers 4 it's just an endless list of movies that have come out well just a couple more movies uh, let's see we have a loose uh, Transformers Big Hero 6 Spider-Man Prometheus John dies at the end 2012 under the skin the blob Jennifer's body yeah that's just a few more so I propose to you that my toroidal field movie video that I made like this UFO toroidal field could easily create these electric fields from a TR3B G craft enormous fields the ones that we saw if you didn't watch my toroidal field the shape of these huge toroidal fields these magnetic powered levitation uh, devices that are hovering out above us making this now if you guys want to see something super freaky because we're talking about black goo check this out I'll leave a link I'm not even gonna play the video I don't want a copyright strike but it looks pretty damn legit I'm sorry I use that word but wow in this video this guy plays a frequency from a speaker here in the middle of his room he does it twice he has a group of investigators that do the same thing uh, I actually you can go ahead and try it but you know what don't touch the black goo okay and I do a little prayer if you really want to pull this off and get a you know whatever you do don't touch it just don't 
I know you might be curious with a stick, maybe. Uh, just be very aware. Man, I didn't say touch it, okay? I warned you. But this guy plays this video on a Bluetooth speaker from his laptop, and this black goo forms. It's incredible, okay? And, and I think this is one of the dark frequencies. I think that's why the dark mass opens up. And then he gets near it, and the thing, like, pops. Could it be that this thing just uh, popped because of his own spiritual energy just popped it? It couldn't be in the same field of energy. That's my theory, because he got kind of close to it, and it just popped. But I don't think you should be touching this stuff, okay? Don't do it. <laughs> And the reason why I think it works is because of state scalar technology. Now, he tried this before on his desk. Now, I'm not going to play the video. Just please do it yourself. Is the scalar sound. A single speaker focused up towards the ceiling was bouncing back off the ceiling and resonating off all four walls, creating a resonant scalar sound at the very center of the thing. When he put it on the desk, it didn't have the same effect. And here we could see it. I'm not going to play the video. I just showed us a fraction of a second of it. It literally opens up the space-time continuum. This is something I'm going to talk about next. Is Tesla time traveling? It's it's real. It really is. But here it is cracking open the space-time continuum. I bet you could walk through a time dimension and that would be your time travel portal. This resonant frequency of 528 hertz. I'm going to link Funky Fathead. Now, when you go to his channel, you got to click on videos. See, he does have content. You just got to click on videos. And there it is. You could watch this and watch this setup. So, what do you think is going to happen? Well, before I propose that thought, uh, we've got Dr. Oz. I'm going to cap this off by the, the mark of the beast. I couldn't even like do this without getting a worldwide block okay so I'm just gonna show you without even clicking on his channel lest I get a copyright strike but this guy is promoting the microchip it is so cool you can see him pointing right hand you insert it in your hand and this microchip has an RFID EKG GPS heart waves Oh my gosh. Let's see. GPS, EKG, EEG, GPS, near five field. Works with your iPhone 6. Yeah. Let me show you a video clip of TED Talks. The iPhone 6. iPhone 6. The one that released the near field chip. The one that works with the Mark of the Beast. And just how easy it is. Ted Talk. That's it. That's it. Folks, that's not Photoshop. You could see that 666 popped up on an iPhone 6. So many people, you know, about the Mark of the Beast. To You cannot buy, sell, or trade unless you have this Mark of the Beast. And here we are pushing on the iPhone 6, taking the chip in their right hand. Where is this going? Well, let me make it real simple. Here's a circuit. This little dot here is the crystal. It's called a crystal oscillator. The only thing that's missing from your body that these Morgellons has woven around your nervous system tied to crystals communicating through the pressure waves through the piezoelectric effect and the inverse piezoelectric effect it just doesn't have a CPU yet and that is the missing link is that mark of the beast when that thing communicates with this neural network that some of the population is already tied to and they turn on this 5G network the implications are staggering, absolutely staggering. Let's watch a video clip of one of the biggest proponents of the 5G network who's going to ramrod this down our throats with no regulation 
whatsoever. <laughs> Hold on, let me slow it down for you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Going a little bit too fast. Those have physical properties that are both in limitation and a strength. They tend to travel best in narrow and straight lines, and they do not go through physical objects as well. But brilliant engineers have developed new antennas that can aim and amplify signals. Now to make this world. Hold it. He said aim. Sounds like directed weapons. Why would you want to aim that kind of technology? Hmm. Five, the 5G build-out is going to be very infrastructure-intensive, requiring massive deployment of small cells. I'm confident that the actions will lead to a cornucopia of unanticipated, innovative uses and will generate tens of billions of dollars in economic activity. And that's damn important. Damned is right. Because it means that U.S. companies will be the first out of the gate. And that is why 5G is a national priority and stay out of the way of technological development. Unlike some countries, we do not believe that we should spend the next couple of years studying what 5G should be or how it should be. Yeah, no health. Uh, don't worry about the implications of it at all. Just ram this thing down like we did healthcare. To operate. The future has a way of inventing itself. Just so you know, this is not my writing in here. That's theirs, no standard. They're bragging about there's no standards because we're going to speed this out. The innovators loose is far preferable to expecting committees and regulators to define the future. We won't wait for the standards. We're already seeing the industry. You heard that though, no standards. Oh, sorry, sand corrected. <laughs> this is not their text. Yeah, this was copied, but there are no copyright strike. Permission is granted. Gearing up to seize this opportunity, Verizon and AT&T tell us they'll begin deploying 5G trials in 2017, and the first commercial deployments they're talking about are expected in 2020. And we're not done. As part of our July 14 action, we also plan to ask for comments on opening up other high-frequency bands. Many of the high-frequency bands that we will make available for 5G currently have some satellite users, as well as some Defense Department applications, or at least the possibility of future satellite. Frequency bands that will work with the Miguel on Crystal structure and defense users. This means sharing will be required between satellite and terrestrial wireless, an issue that is especially relevant in 28 gigahertz band. But if anyone tells you that they know the details on what 5G is going to become, run the other way. Yeah, run the other way. Don't listen to me. Just listen to these people. You can trust your government, right? You're, he's right, though. I don't know the full application. It's, it's not even past my imagination. I have. If you want any idea what this thing's going to do, just go watch all the Black Goo movies. If something can be connected, it will be connected. Hundreds of billions of microchips connected in products from pill bottles to plant waters. We must plant water. Reject the notion that the 5G future will be the sole provenance of urban areas. The 5G revolution will touch all corners. A lot more antenna sighting decisions by local governments and tightened our shot clock for sighting application reviews. America's local governments will play an important role in determining how we fulfill this national priority. <laughs> you can be sure of only one thing. The biggest Internet of Things application has yet to be imagined. Ten. Unreal. I'm going to finish it with this. So, here's some uh, recommended watch. If you want to know what 5G network, when this thing turns on, with people who've taken the Mark of the Beast, just watch some of these movies. This isn't even science fiction anymore. This one here probably has the Black Goo files from Odd TV, the complete database. I'll put the link in the description box. That one there, if you want to know what 5G is going to do, Let's just start watching some horror movies, okay? How about... <laughs> wow. So I'm going to do a live stream with Scott Sion from the Planet X channel. And we're going to be discussing some of this a little bit. And hopefully I'm going to do my own live stream with questions and answers. So I hope you like this video. Have a blessed day. Please copy, like, and share. Spread this all over any poor soul that is out there suffering from this disease. You do not have this psychosis and not to go and get lithium 
It's not in your head. This is where we're at. There are solutions. We're working at it. Magnetic field is it. So again, please copy, like, and share this video. See you at the Lord's Supper.